Traveling to Hanamura. Do you have a comfort first pick? Uh, that's a good question. I think uh, one of the most reliable, comfortable first pick right now is Gul'dan, Anubarak, and Malf. Gul'dan, Anubarak, and Malf. I think those are the most versatile of, of their role. Do you like Hanamura? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. What? What, 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 I'm third place. What do we pick, what do we pick? What if Widowmaker's hook enabled her to sit on top of allied walls and towers? That seems, that seems great, Bogdan. Greetings, friend. Wrong opinion. Yes, <laughs> I stand ready. <laughs> I thank you. Play a non troll viable hero you are uncomfortable with but you want to get better at. Okay. That's a that's a really cool uh <clears throat> That's a really cool request. Thank you very much, Dumbo Times 2. A non troll viable hero that you're uncomfortable with but want to get better at. Okay. Alright. Uh let's see. So that would be Rhaegar or Lucio for support. Uncomfortable, but want to get better at. Uh, uh, both of which would be decent against what they have. Rhaegar, Lucio, maybe Rhaegar. If I were to go for Warrior, it would be Stitches, which doesn't work that well with what we have, or on the map for that matter. Diablo Arthas, I do want to get better at. I wouldn't say they're 100% uncomfortable. Tyrael. Tyrael. Hmm. Yeah. Or I can add another assassin or bruiser to the list. And it would be... No, I think it has to be Rhaegar. I will fight Uncomfortable, non-troll, viable, but I want to get better at him. And one of the major issues I have as Rhaegar is dying, which seems to be a, a theme that doesn't extend itself just to Rhaegar. But it's definitely a thing. How do I stay alive? You can do good damage with Rhaegar, but if you go too much aggressive, can get risky. Gladiators, prepare yourselves for. All shall suffer. Vasilisko, Oreo. Mm -hmm. You might be able to attack Genji when he dives. Yeah, he might turn on parry as I go in, but it's only one. Uh, how do you call it? One of those daggers. Tychus. It's pretty good against Sonya and Leoric. But we only have one tank on this map. I haven't played Rhaegar in basically forever. I played him once recently, also on Hanamura, but it was a bit of a tough game and we ended up losing as well. We have an ancestral healing composition. It's not bloodlust. Mm. 
I'm thinking about my build. Lightning Bond, probably. Though it does encourage aggressive play that can get you in trouble. If you want to play safer, you can also get the Totem at level 1. Hope this isn't a hard Rhaegar game because of Vala Genji. Yeah, it could be hard. I'm thinking who's our solo laner? Probably Anorak. Okay, so Anorak is our solo laner. We've got double backline stitches Rhaegar as the other lane. Well, let's do this. Increase lightning shield radius. I'm not sure about that. I get lightning bolt. The battle begins in 10 seconds. Wolf run can be nice to get away from some of those. Five, four, three, but I get lightning bond. Two, one. It's the classical, the classical, classical talent these days for Rhaegar at pro play. I smell their fear. Uh, let's see which quest he got. Pursuit of Flame. So, I've been playing some Gul'dan recently, and I feel like I finally understand the parameters that make you want to pick Pursuit of Flame. And why it's actually so important. Let's see what you've got. Wow. Vasilis go, Ariel main. Lashed him out of the hook. Right Without away. Pursuit of Flame, your level 16 Fell Flame spell power increase doesn't get as many procs. It's very important to have that bonus range to make sure that you're always close enough. See, this is where I take too much damage. In fact, in fact, I died. Going in for what I thought was going to be a kill. Well, that's the issue. When should you go Corruption over Felflame? So Corruption is Burst, right? But it's dodgeable. So the question is, do they have things they can dodge? Easily. And is it a map where Corruption is likely to get 4th, 5th, 6th damage stack? I see what you mean now. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm not showing it on purpose, but. Double. Payload deployment beginning for both teams. Thank you. Let's go. Payloads deployed. Escort your payload to its destination. Why wouldn't he help? Choose a talent. Lightning Bond is so good for taking camps. Capably done, team. Um, Pharaoh Heart Stormcall and Hinnitad Spirit Walker's Grace. I'm going to go for Spirit Walker's Grace. Just because I'm planning not to get Earth Shield, but I'm planning to get Tidewalker's Pursuit. What's it called? Tide wa no, Tidal Waves. Enemy <laughs> Tidal Waves gives you more sustain heals. And Gul'dan needs healing all the time. And that's why I do it. Because ruinous affliction, Gojira. Let's go. Hey, it dismounts Rhaegar to use it. 
Payload deployment beginning for both teams. Good! Don't get sloppy! He dead. Missing. If you are alone as Rhaegar, you can lightning shield the front footman. And you get wave clear like that. I'm gonna get lens. <laughs> Totemic projection. Far side. I got cleanse. I like the way you think. Winds guide my path. Octaro God. Enemy payload firing. He's dead. I say this from my experience as people who have seen allies die. Why pick cleanse? Ariel's Lash, Vala's Heroic, Reign of Vengeance, uh, Sonya's Spear. Thank you, Brenarius. Yeah, all of those necessitate a cleanse. And possible Sonya leap. Or I would have to hold my talent. Yeah, I'm not gonna cleanse that. Or I would have to hold my talent. Until I see their heroics. The enemy's payload will be redeployed shortly. Your payload will be redeployed shortly. Try me. Look, Regan. Sometimes need to give some heals. See, it leap. Oh, he was too aggressive. The enemy's payload has been redeployed. That's the way. Phew. Your payload has been redeployed. Nice revenge. I'm gonna push the other payload. Choose a talent. I'm gonna get ancestral healing. Let's go. Hey, should we go five ball? The stop them. Can we still stop them? No. Then why are we here? Blood and thunder. Two at once. Spirit Still worse. Still worse. Push. Always push when you're ahead on this map. Did you save me? No. Nope. Oh, poison freaking spear. <laughs> oh, man. Something, something. So, unfortunately, we split. The enemy's payload will be redeployed shortly. Oh, no. 
stings a bit. Dumb. I think it's really okay to delay our payload if we can get a forward. We've lost a fort. It's worth so much getting a fort. You fight me. Feel the ground tremble. I should have died there. Luckily, I did not. No mercy. Let's just push this one in and we'll worry about forts later. Choose a talent. Uh, I'm gonna get tidal waves. Oh, did we get another kill? Nice. Push. This fort must be destroyed. Push, please. <laughs> Let's see what you've got. That's five. <laughs> Righteous assault. <laughs> All right, what happened there? Is he? <laughs> this is so broken now. Uh, I did this last night as well. It's so good. So what happens is you get the three-second CDR for a center uh, center sweep. And then if you hit three people, you have no CDR. So you non-stop do it. It's 450 damage every time on everyone that it hits. Uh, and a full CDR reset. And he's got converging force. So he keeps pushing to the middle, making his next slash more likely to go hit multiple people as well. So that was legit three times in a row, I think. Three times in a row. So now I need to stay back so that I can cleanse whoever gets left. Left? 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 And also, as Rhaegar, you can't be the one that gets in two. The seal clapping I predicted. <laughs> All right, all right. Did they pay? Yeah, well done. Feel the ground tremble. Winds guide my path. Yeah, that was really dumb to move into there, considering uh, we had two at our back. Find their weakness. We had two at our back, Genji and, and Sonia, and then we deep push. I was trying to like see it, but they just they legit went. You can't even push into Aria. The righteous assault value is too strong. We never did get that fort. Uh, okay, so they need a payload and a boss basically to win. I think Stitches is not all about hooking. When you go this build, it is. But you can still get Putrid Bile to do really good teamfight control. But when you go Gorge, you gotta be a good hooker. Alright, what we need now is to win a fight. 
And then another fight, and then another fight. We can't lose another one, because they are one-off. That's the way! Nice. Get a four. Here's I get uh, hunger for the wolf. Well done. Go and tell the others of the victory I have won here. Okay. We need another fort that will give us three shots, and then the two payloads will be victory condition. This could be very nice. Let's get another fort. Nice. I smell their fear. Okay, I only have two alive, so we should probably push both in. Now he needs to disengage from that. Very good, very good. Because you know that their only chance is to uh, stop that one. Now you see the power of forts. We get two forts, we get two shots. We were so behind. Now we go as five, and if we win this fight, we win the game. And, you know, if we lose, we lose. That's fine. Swallow my enemies! I just need to have a good cleanse. Oh, I just cleansed. My mistake. I was actually thinking so hard about it. <laughs> okay, no more cleanse. Oh, we won. Three. He needed a tomb, I think. No sweat. Oh, nice job. I really liked um, my choice of uh, healing at four and thirteen. <laughs> uh, the constant heals were, I think were very useful uh, actually I think it was very nice uh, Alarak and Taika's play Gul'dan definitely good too I didn't see any mistakes with it nice ancestrals thank you uh, I don't think uh, Stitch has played bad per se. Like uh, the fact that they had leap and, and march is kind of anti stitches. It, it is allowing to follow up uh, on uh, on hooks, but in the end, hook gorge still worked out pretty well. Actually, you know, it's even possible that I was wrong. I know it seems like an alien idea that Putrid Bile would be the one to choose here because uh, actually removing Genji Sonya for a while. It, with Gorge is also a pretty powerful mechanic. So it was interesting. Uh, I went for Lightning Bond, which very strong, double value Lightning Shield if you don't spec into it. Um, and then I got the Mana Cost Reduction for the Sustain, very important. I almost never ha won a Hearthstone on Hanamura. And I got Tidal Waves, and that's because Gul'dan is constantly eating mana 
eating life for mana. And that's why I'm gonna have to do lots of heals. Uh, Hunger for the Wolf, more burst damage. I already didn't spec into Totem at 1 and 7, so the Totem at 16 has slight reduced value as well. Uh, this is also a self-sustained tool because you get extra health. Cleanse is purely for leap, prevent someone from getting blown up too fast. And Ancestral because we're not an auto-attack comp. Well, thank you for the donation uh, request, Dumbo times 2. Uh, alternatively, for Rhaegar at level 4, Healing Totem is quite nice as well. But that doesn't help with your mana. It heals more, but it's not as good on a moving payload map like Hanamura. Nice. 